a one, a two, and you know what to do. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Superintendent Dr. Maria Karstarfin, at-large seat seven and board chair, Mr. Courtney English, Educational District four and board vice chair, Ms. Nancy Meister, Educational District one board member, Ms. Leslie Grant, Educational District two board member, Mr. Byron Amos, Educational District three board member, Mr. Matt Westmoreland, Educational District five board member, Mr. Stephen Lee, Educational District 6 board member, Ms. Ishe Collins, At-Large Seat 8 board member, Ms. Cynthia Briscoe Brown, At-Large Seat 9 board member, Mr. Jason Estevez, Deputy Superintendent, Mr. David Jernigan, Chief Accountability and Information Officer, Mr. Bill Parich, Chief Human Resources Officer, Ms. Pamela Hall, Chief Operations Officer, Mr. Larry Hoskins, Deputy Chief Schools and Academic Officer, Dr. Olivine Roberts. Associate Superintendent, Dr. Dan Sims. Associate Superintendent, Dr. Gregory Middleton. Associate Superintendent, Dr. Danielle Battle. Associate Superintendent, Ms. Yolanda Brown. Associate Superintendent, Dr. Emily Massey. Associate Superintendent, Mr. Tommy Usher. Assistant Superintendent of Student Services, Ms. Tammy Workman and Executive Director for Office of Innovation, Ms. Gail Burnett. Entering the 2017 class of South Atlanta High School.
Please stand for the posting of colors, the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag, and the singing of the National Anthem. Please stand and face the flag for the presentation of colors and Pledge of Allegiance. Remain standing with your right hand over your heart for the National Anthem. to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Good evening. Welcome to our graduation under the auspices of our stellar principal, Dr. Patricia Ford. I am Xavia Simmons, a proud member of the class of 2017.
Please be reminded that this is a formal occasion. Therefore, we ask that you give it the respect it deserves. We know you are excited, just as we are, but we have worked very hard to make our commencement special. Cat calls, yelling, obscene gestures, or other inappropriate conduct distracts from the sentiment of the ceremony. Please allow everyone in the audience to enjoy this long-awaited experience. Thank you, both family and friends, for honoring our request. It's time to celebrate. Welcome, Dr. Kostarfran, board members, staff, parents, family, and friends. It is my pleasure to introduce to you our stage participants. Please stand and be recognized. Dr. Dan Sims. Thank you. Cluster Principals. Thank you. Mr. Phil Braziel, Assistant Principal. Thank you. Dr. Driscoll Lane, Assistant Principal. Dr. Natasha Woody, Assistant Principal. Ms. Carla Aldridge, 12th grade counselor. Ms. Siobhan Ingram, instructional coach. Mr. Henry Coleman, graduation coach. Dr. Dorothy Lewis Grace, instructional coach. Ms. Cynthia Thomas, senior sponsor. Ms. Cadence Johnson, Senior sponsor. Thank you. This celebration would not have been possible without the love, guidance, and support of the family of our graduates. With the proud parents, grandparents, relatives, and supporters of the class of 2017, please stand to be recognized. Thank you. Thank you. I am proud. I am proud to introduce the South Atlanta High School faculty and staff who have worked tirelessly to ensure that students reach this milestone in their lives. Faculty and staff, please stand and be recognized. Thank you. We are always honored to have former graduates to join us in our commencement exercises. Please stand and be recognized. Alumni from Fulton High School, George F. Walter F. George High School, South Atlanta Comprehensive High School, South Atlanta Educational Complex, and South Atlanta High School. Thanks to all alumni for your continued support. Now we would like to turn the spotlight to those who planned this occasion for the graduating class of 2017. Please join us in saluting the efforts of Mr. Philip Raziel, Assistant Principal, and the graduation committee members who are behind the scenes. Ms. Latasha Brown, Ms. Candace Jones, and Mr. Mike Pirelli. School Band Director, Mr. Jamont Lane, Ms. Marion Robinson, course director, and other committees seated in the audience. Please stand and be recognized. Thank you. We are pleased to have with us today our superintendent, Dr. Maria Kostarfin. Dr. Kostarfin came to Atlanta in July 2014 in nearly 20 years of education and experience in diverse major metropolitan public school districts, including Austin, Texas, St. Paul, Minnesota, and the District of Columbia. She brought with her a focus on ed educational culture with great principals and teachers who emphasize the whole child and every child. Since becoming our superintendent, Dr. Gustafson has been passionate about leading the Atlanta public schools and living its mission every day. 
with a caring culture of trust and collaboration, every student will graduate college and career ready. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Kostarfin. Essay. 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 Welcome all of our families, friends, neighbors, alumni, and of course our beautiful graduates. We are here tonight to celebrate the South Atlanta High School graduating class of 2017. It is indeed on this day that we do recognize the mission of Atlanta Public Schools to ensure our beautiful children are college and career ready. And this moment is special for us because they're our students. But for you, they are your daughters, your sons, your grandchildren, your godchildren, your brothers, sisters, and friends. And when they walk across this stage in their regal purple and teal and white, in this moment, we all feel like family, cheering our beautiful children into their future. Tonight is a great night because I want to share with you what it means to be the superintendent of Atlanta Public Schools. I get to just share and shine love on our graduates, but I get to tell you about their accomplishments and all the things that they do well in academics, athletics, arts, and citizenship. So there's so much about this class to brag about. I want you to be sure you join, join us when I tell you about them and I say, S-A, what do you say? Morning. I can't hear you. When I say, S-A, you say? Morning. All right, here we go. The valedictorian, Asha Cruz. Not only did she distinguish herself in the classroom, but she was already working toward and actually being a nurse. She has maintained perfect attendance while taking all of her AP courses. A-S-A. Salutatorian Dexter Davis. He is well known as Mr. South Atlanta, but he also stands out as a well-rounded scholar, a musician, and here we go. This is why I know him. He hasn't missed a day of school since he was in kindergarten. S.A. He is also an outstanding student logging over 1,100 community service hours with the rest of his class. Those students who met their community service hours, please stand. S.A. Your star student? Oh, let me stop. There's no Mr. South Atlanta without a what? Miss South Atlanta, Xavier Simmons. Isn't she beautiful and brilliant? Your star student, Nakira Dixon, is also an SGA, JRTC, and a cheerleader. She's also cheering our Hornets. Also cheering our Hornets along the way is senior cheerleader, Shakirium Tremel. please stand, along with your cheering classmates, Kiana, Imani, Delena, Tanisia, Cassandra, Talithia, Tyler, Quinderic, and Steven. S.A. You also see in front of you the biggest class of AP economics that South Atlanta has seen in its history. 106 students strong. For those who are seniors, please stand and be recognized. AP Economics, S.A. South Atlanta is also admirable in its service to our country. They sponsor an impressive battalion of J.R.O.T.C. cadets. Please stand, S.A. In the arts, Armand Blackwell plays the French horn in the band, earned the Coca-Cola Fine Arts Award for Outstanding Leadership and High Achievement in Music, as well as four Music 
Scholarships, S.A. He is supported by the South Atlanta Marching Senior Hornets. Come on. S.A. They also stand out in athletics, as you are soon to see. But there are some leaders in baseball in particular. Would our lead ambassadors please stand? S.A. Of course, our Hornets really shined in competition with a truly historic and amazing year. They absolutely demonstrated the characteristics of champions, starting with our girls basketball team that made it to the Sweet 16, S.A. Our girls tennis team ranked second in the region, S.A. Regional champions in girls cross country, S.A. Regional champions in softball, S.A. Regional champions in girls and boys soccer, S.A. Regional champions in baseball, S.A. Regional champions in girls track and field, S.A. Regional champions in boys tennis, S.A. Last but not least, state champions in boys basketball, S.A. The school also won the Georgia High School Association Sportsmanship Award for the entire region. Would all senior athletes stand up one more time to be recognized by the people who love you? I have to ask my senior cheerleaders to stand for one particular moment that isn't as much about athletics as it is about leadership and citizenship. And it's got a little bit of story, so you gotta work with me here. These ladies and gentlemen met with one of our school board members, their school board member for the district, who I'm about to introduce, but they made a case for Atlanta Public Schools to fund all the cheerleading uniforms for every high school in the district, making it possible for every child, regardless of socio socioeconomics, to be able to participate in this sport. I'd like to introduce the board members who are supporting this in the fiscal year 18 budget, the chair of the board, Courtney English, the school board member who brought it to fruition, Ishe Collins, your at-large board member and chair of the Budget Commission, Jason Estevez, Leslie Grant, Byron Amos, Stephen Lee, Cynthia Briscoe Brown, and Matt Westmoreland all supported this effort. Stay standing. It also took the entire senior leadership team to support our girls and cut their budgets. Please stand. I'd like to ask the faculty of South Atlanta to stand again because they supported these ladies. I'd like the leadership on the other side of the stage to stand up and be recognized. I want all the people in this room to know that these young people got all these grown folks to do the right thing for children by simply being student leaders in the great school of South Atlanta. I said it, you earned it. Woo! Now clearly, our South Atlanta students are already champions, but your challenge is to continue to be, cha to be champions once you leave this school. You have to remain competitive. You have to push harder. You have to be at the top of your game all the time because you know better than anyone else that no one's going to hand you anything. You have struggled, you have worked hard, you have overcome unbelievable obstacles to be on this stage today. And you did it with the loving support of your parents and caregivers and guardians and grandmamas. You give them an S.A. 
the Brazilian soccer superstar Pele. He's one of the greatest athletes and champions in history. But his words are actually painted on the walls of a gorgeous mural in South Atlanta, along with a hornet's nest to really embody the, the athletic spirit of the school. And on that mural, it says, success is no accident. It is hard work, perseverance, learning, studying, sacrifice, and most of all, love of what you're doing or learning to do. Real talk, I'm gonna keep it 100. Stay on your grind. You are hornets, and being hornets means that you have to be aggressive, determined, and tough. South Atlanta High School is creating champions today. And I think your time here with the spirits and traits you have totally will make you and you will remain champions for the rest of your lives in college and career. On behalf of Atlanta Public Schools, from the bottom of my heart, I want to say thank you for being in Atlanta Public Schools today. They brought great pride and great, great, great energy to a school that deserves all that it has created. Congratulations and good luck to the class of 2017. We love you and we will miss you. Thank you, Dr. Kustarfin for your presence and those inspirational words to the class of 2017. Audience, please allow the spotlight to shine on the class of 2017. This graduating class embraces the idea that believing is the catalyst for achieving. These seniors believe and uphold South Atlanta's motto, one school with one vision, creating a caring culture through relationships. And now the moment that we've all been waiting for. The class of 2017 presents Achieving the dream, believing the impossible.
Introducing South Atlanta 2017 star student, Nikira Dixon. What happens to a dream deferred? Does it dry up like a raisin in the sun? Or does it explode like a shining supernova lighting up the far-reaching corners of the galaxy? These rhetorical questions posed by Harlem Renaissance poet Langston Hughes incite a moment of reflection on our parallel past, present, and more importantly, our futures. Our dreams, my dream, is one still in progress. It is the cap and gown that I wear, the college dormitory that I will soon occupy, the realized dreams of my family, It has been the God and light for my success throughout my school years. Having maintained a solid 93 GPA since grade school. Earned a South Atlanta record-breaking 96 on the military ASVAB test. And a 1360 on the SAT. I stand before you as the star student of my graduating class. This dream, however, would not be a reality if it were not for my incredible father, Michael Daughter, and especially my wonderful mother, Keisha Dixon, who has stood in the gaps for me when I felt too weak to fight for my own dream. Had it not been for my South Atlanta family, teachers, administrators, and the incredible class of 2017, I would not have the grit to persevere when my own dreams began to shrivel like a raisin in the sun. It is because of the ongoing love, support, and dedication that I'm able to stand proudly as a recipient of two full-ride academic scholarships. <laughs> over 13 college acceptances, and an accumulation of over $319,000 in scholarships. <laughs> this fall, I will open my eyes as a Jaguar at Southern University on a full-ride academic scholarship with a major in sociology. The chase for my dream will not stop, will not stagger, will not dry up, and it will not die. Class of 2017, chase the dream until it becomes a reality. Soar into your destiny. We are achieving the dream and believe in the impossible. Thank you. Salutatorian Dexter Davis, Jr. Don't watch the clock. Do what it does and keep going. These words from Sam Levinson, a, pro a prolific writer and teacher of the mid 20th century, encapsulate my philosophy of everyday life and struggles. Like many of my hardworking and determined peers accompany me on this stage tonight, I have experienced my share of failures and triumphs. Thankfully, more of the latter than the former. The starry triumphs of purple and teal are what shine through. In middle school, I made a conscious decision to be a scholar. My middle school counselor, Dr. Tony Jones, peeked into my future and gave me a glimpse of the benefits of staying diligent in school and the possibilities that a hard worker can garner. In high school, I met Police Lieutenant Kelly Coyer, who has never hesitated to write a recommendation on my behalf or drive me to many of the countless scholarship interviews that I had to attend. And I can't forget my middle school band director, Mr. John Connor.
who taught me how to be a man and begin my musical career. The support of these kind individuals has given me the motivation to gain acceptance into more elite study societies such as Breakthrough Atlanta, Maynard Jackson Youth Foundation, the Ben Carson Scholars Fund, the National Honor Society, and the National Beta Club. At home, my mother and proudest proponent, Javonnie Washington, has cheered me on, <laughs> instilling in me, don't let life beat you, you beat it. <laughs> mother, I deeply thank you for all of the sacrifice that you have made on my behalf. Like the time you drove me to Tennessee to receive my Ben Carson Award while you were sick, or the time you switched entire jobs just to support me in my more intensive years in my high school career. Every band performance, band parent meeting, award ceremony, PTSA meeting, you were there. By the time I reached 11th grade, I was ranked number three in my class. But more importantly, I had grown as a person, both academically and socially. I had grown, humbly driven by those who acted as drum majors for my success, teachers, like the director of the baddest band in the land, Mr. Jamont Lane. <laughs> teachers, like my AP literature teacher, Ms. Latasha Brown, and my AP US history teacher, Ms. Alma McCray. Administrators, counselors, faculty, staff members, such as Dr. Ford, Mr. Braziel, Ms. Dixon, Ms. Aldrich, Ms. Suttle, you all have gave me the, mov the motivation to move on and encouraged me to make use of all of my resources and shine as brightly as possible. Class of 2017, I am proud to say that I am the recipient of over $384,000 in scholarships. <laughs> Acceptance into over 10 colleges and recognition that I could never have dreamed of. I am also proud to say that this fall, I will be attending my first choice on a full tuition scholarship. B, Georgia Institute of Technology. Where I'll be majoring in computer engineering. Class of 2017, it is time for us to live out our goals, go out into the world, and also live out our dreams. For I know that all things are possible for those of us who believe. Valedictorian Asha Cruz. Yes, Dexter. We are achieving the dream, believing the impossible. Dynamic esteemed class of 2017. I'm sure it didn't take long after we learned to do basic addition and subtraction for us to calculate the year we got to be exactly where we are today. Graduation. Ever since we were children, the year 2017 has been etched into our minds like the imprints on the Statue of Liberty. Well, it's here. We've made it. But what does that mean, we've made it? What have we made? We've made ourselves. Every experience in the past four years has helped to create the most recent versions of ourselves. Self-motivation, self-love, discipline, teamwork, collaboration, humility. These aren't just words. They're the it, and we've made it. Growing, maturing, learning. Class of 2017, we're ready. Whatever the world has in store for us, we're ready. The dreams we developed, whatever they may be, it's time to put them into action. It's time, Tina Scott, to roll up your sleeves and become a doctor. It's time, Tyler Thornton, to make a slam dunk in the NBA. It's time, like Kendra Maddox, to claim your Academy Award in Hollywood. Class of 2017, it's time to dream big and achieve the seemingly impossible. Truly, all things are possible with the love and support of our families, friends, and teachers. This ceremony is for you to see where all your money, sacrifices, and signatures have gone towards this very moment. Personally, I've had more help from people than I have fingers and toes. Those who have helped me apply for scholarships, encouraged me to join clubs, motivated me to keep going, taught me through my difficult times, and guided me through the college application process. 
I have no doubt in my mind that I would not be standing here today if it weren't for the help of each and every one of you, and I'll never be able to truly repay you. I honestly cannot describe the magnitude of your contributions to our successes, but for my family, I'll try my best. My first day of high school was difficult to say in the least. I missed the bus, spent half the day in the wrong academy, and everyone seemed so much bigger than I was, and they still do. However, when I got home, my mother said to me, don't worry about it, you'll be on top in no time. And here I stand before you as the valedictorian of the class of 2017. A Zell Miller Scholar, an Achieve Atlanta Scholarship recipient, an Emory Pipeline mentee, and a scholar athlete. Without my mother's constant encouragement, love, and support, who knows what I'll be doing right now instead of giving this speech. We've been given everything we need in order to succeed, and now it's up to us to use those skills in order to become the people we are meant to be. In the fall, I am proud to say I'll be attending Pace University on a full tuition scholarship. <laughs> Majoring in nursing, achieving the dream, believing the impossible. Many of our seniors were recognized for their stellar accomplishments at our visions of the future program. However, at this time, I would like to ask Assistant Principal Dr. Natasha Woody to assist in presenting the awards not previously announced. Dr. Carr Starfin, an Atlanta Board of Education member of District 6, Ishe Collins, please join the principal as she presents special awards. I would like to ask the recipients of our special awards to please come forward when their names are called. The Atlanta Board of Education Award for best attendance in the past 12 years is presented to Dexter Davis Jr. The next award is for the star students. This award goes to the students with the highest SAT score in the class. Please come forward, Nikira Dixon. This year, the salutatorian of the class of 2017 has distinguished himself as a serious and talented student. Please join me in recognizing the 2017 recipient of the Salutatorian Cup, Dexter Davis. The next distinguished award recognizes the highest ranking student in the graduating class. This year, we have outstanding students who value education, accept challenges, and possess a positive outlook on life. The 2017 Valedictorian Cup recipient is Asha Cruz. The Principal's Cup will be presented to the senior who has esteemed him or herself as a serious scholar who is multi-talented and has clearly defined goals. The recipients for this year are Malika Brown and Eric Ponder.
The Faculty Award is presented to the senior who has maintained high scholastic achievement and exemplary school and community involvement. The recipient is Tina Scott. The coveted Atlanta Journal Constitution Cup is awarded annually to seniors who are deemed the best all-around student and who have a positive attitude about life. They love a challenge. Please join me in congratulating the 2017 Atlanta Journal Constitution Cup recipient, Antoine Sylvain. Congratulations to our students. Please give them a round of applause. Congratulations to our students. Please give them a round of applause. At this time, I would like to recognize students in the following categories. When your names are called, please stand. Senior class officers, thank you. Student government officers, Thank you. Top 10% of graduating class. Thank you. National Honor Society. Thank you. National Beta Club. Thank you. Graduating with honors. Thank you. 1,100 plus on SAT, 21 plus on ACT. Thank you. Met requirements for the HOPE Scholarship. Thank you. Met requirements for the Zell Miller Scholarship. Thank you. Completed one or more advanced placement courses. Thank you. Pathway completers. Thank you. Attending a post secondary school in the fall of 2017. Thank you. 100 hours of community service. Thank you. Golden Helmet Award winner, Frank Bailey Jr. Thank you. Enlisting in the armed services. Thank you. Entering the workforce. Thank you. Registered voters. Thank you. I am proud to announce that scholarships continue to come in after the printing of the program. However, to date, the class of 2017 has amassed over $5.5 million in scholarships and financial awards. Class of 2017, as you embark on a new chapter in your lives, do not imagine for a moment that your future will hold no problems. Just be reminded that the possession of a high school diploma does not ensure complete freedom from difficulties. Life will not always look as bright as it does tonight. 
when you march and extend your hand to receive your diploma, which says you have completed the work required and you have graduated by the Board of Education in the state of Georgia. But those who have watched you grow through the years are confident that you will overcome future difficulties as you have overcome them in the past. It is easy to picture many of your pursuing post-secondary options and making a place for yourself in the larger world. It is unthinkable that you should fail. You have won success too many times in lesser battles. The honor roll of the future is bound to contain your names and the rank of those who have gone on to greater heights. And we are happy to have contributed to your progress. South Atlanta High School graduating class, you come from a rich tradition of excellence because you refuse to accept somebody's definition of who you are, where you are going, or how you are going to get there. You have demonstrated that you will do whatever it takes to succeed, excel, and make a difference. Class of 2017, you are the hope of the future. Thank you. Members of the Board of Education and Superintendent Kostarfin, we hereby certify that these candidates for graduation have completed the requirements of the State of Georgia and the Atlanta Board of Education and are now eligible to receive their diplomas. Again, we ask audience to please recognize the formality and the seriousness of this occasion by refraining from yelling, name calling, and other distractions that destroy the beauty and dignity of the program. We owe it to these young people and to their families to allow the program to proceed with honor. Audience, we ask your co cooperation. Please hold your applause until all diplomas have been presented. Asha Cruz. Dexter Davis, Jr. Kiana Bryant. Marquita Clark. Talithia Owens. Tyrone Metz, Jr. Rashid Johnson. Zykea Walker. Tina Scott. Nykira Dixon. Dejeniba Keita, 
Shakirian Tremel, Tahira Bradley, Ryan Billings Jr., Mackenzie Bacon, Antoine Sylvain, Jasmine Thompson, Anastasia Perry, Tanisia Lockett, Rafaela Quiros, Kelvin Todd Jr., Kimaje Taylor. Marvin Johnson, Jr. Miriam Medina Cabrera. Nefertiti Overton. Derricka Harpool. Aaliyah Smith, Laquisha Brown, Talia Butler, Armand Blackwell, Daniel Vasquez, Daquan Smith. Ivy Gillis, Xavier Simmons, Shabria Ellison, Jasmine Matthews, Kiardre McKenzie. Carlos Wilson, Quanderic Mosley, Katrina Turner, Adriana Barnes, Priscilla Carter, Tanira Broughton. Kenya Robinson, Camilla Burnett, Kelwin McCommons Jr., Justin Williams, Marquise Harris, Nikendra. Maddox, Princess Rachel, Jennifer Rodriguez, Jocelyn Chavez, Geronte Hall, Travius Portis, Stefan Manuel, Carla Redding, 
Simone Harris. Nastasia Brown. Cassandra Jones. Keandra Brown. Andrea Dozier. Imari Cosby. Antoine Alexander Jr. Frank Bailey Jr. Ayana Ayana Wongus Malika Brown Ashley Allen Delena Martin Telly Brown Tyreek Lawrence Deonce Bat Poindexter, Summer Akil, Kreshana Turner, Kira Webb, Kiana Woodard. John Tayana Williams, Cora Cooper, Jontayana Williams, Cora Cooper, Stephen Durham Jr., Marquise Hardaway, Kenderick Murphy, Tarika Hunter. Zania Boyd, Kelsey Corley, Karan Shahab, Brian Hill, Anthony Jenkins Jr., City Watkins. Wandriana Medlock, Felina Daniel, Sapphire Brown, Deshante Austin, Ayana Harris, Jaquisha Williams. Rodney Cammon Jr. D'Angelo Julio. Ryan Rowe. Malia Wynn. Sabrina Richmond. Katura Carter, Imani Welch, A. 
Stacy Brown the third. Andrew Vascova. D. Eric Dixon. Gladys Harper. Geneva Arnold. Maya Abrams. Ventricia Haynes. Briosha Brown. Erica McRae. Gregory Simmons the second. Eric Ponder. Rashad White. Imani Hurd. Tululape LeBaron. Jalisa Pope. Simone Seville. Miles Grant. Devante Pullins. Stratford Akana. Jada Harrell. Martha. Martha Martinez Hernandez. Leah Dixon. Mario Berrigan Santos. Salorm Ajaho. Shermia Webb. Isaiah Ghani. Marquise Jackson. Jeremiah Paul. Dralicia Beasley. Adriana Harper. Miracle Coggins. Tykira Drayton. Nicholas Russell. Joshua Trapp. Larico Turner. Laurencia Simon. <laughs> Jakevia Reed. Chanquilla Stevens. Tyler Thornton. Darshan Neal. Jordan Freeman. Antonio Gay Jr. Marcus Hickman. Demonte Roberts. Jayana Brown. Yeah. 
Shaquan Gandhi. Henry Ruiz. Tom Travius Reese. Tamari Smith. Brianna Middlebrooks. Symphony Walker. Requavis Wilson. Justin Sutton. Anthony Holt, Jr. Quincy Jameson, Jr. Markevion Kennebrew. DeMichael Kemp. Board member Ishe Collins, please address the class. And now I know. To the class of 2017, your principal has verified that you have completed all the requirements set forth for graduation by the state of Georgia and the Atlanta Board of Education. By the power vested in me by the Atlanta Board of Education, I hereby certify you as proud graduates of the class of 2617. Congratulations. Will the valedictorian please come forward for the turning of the tassel? Please stand to join the class of 2017 as they sing the alma mater.
be seated at this time. Please remain seated until the class of 2017 has exited the room. Thank you.